Hello everyone, Dead Poodles here, and today I have a very special episode of Call of Duty Class Setups, specially tailored to hardcore game modes. Today's video was requested by one of my viewers who happens to be a YouTuber as well, so I would like to give a big shout out to Mac Hawk Games. Be sure to check his channel out if you have the time, link will be in the description below. Hardcore mode removes HUD and enables friendly fire. It also raises bullet damage to more realistic standards, making most weapons kill in 1-2 to two shots. Keeping all this in mind, I went for the most practical setups I could find to fit this. Using unique combinations of divisions and weapons to give you the best advantage while in this grueling mode. New class setups drop every Monday, so be sure to subscribe to stay up to date. With all that out of the way, let's get right into the gear setup. First up, we have the Mac Hawk setup, with the Mountain Division to ensure nobody is ever expecting you, the PPSH-41 with advanced rifling and a grip, mainly due to the fact that this will be your primary weapon for close, medium, and long range, a machine pistol with full metal jackets that I will swap for an enemy rifle the first chance I get, a frag grenade, and the requisition's basic training. Now I struggled with the basic training for all the classes here. I first ran this with Hunker, even tried Primed, but nothing really felt like it was giving me the advantage that I needed, until I tried Requisitions. Being because of how easy it is to die in Hardcore mode, this one really helped to make sure that I was getting my score streaks, which is another problem area. Anything explosive is almost certain to get you kicked, so I stuck low with Recon, Counter Recon, and your choice of care package, fighter jet, or paratroopers. Next up, we have the Hardcore Ghost. This was a class that I had high hopes for. That sorta of just fell short. With the Airborne Division, a Type 100 with Reflex Sight and Steady Aim, POA Pistol with Steady Aim, a Sticky Bomb, and the Undercover Basic Training, granting you no name or reticle change when enemies aim at you and keeps enemy death locations hidden as well. In theory, this class should have worked great, taking away the only two real ways left to identify you as an enemy. But it didn't seem to work quite as well as I'd hoped. Enemies still shot at me the second they saw me. But it's still a good setup. Last up, we have my Hardcore Cheater, with the Resistance Division mainly for faster weapon swapping. An SVT with a 4x optic, and rapid fire, machine pistol with advanced rifling, extended mags, and steady aim, a bouncing betty, and the shifty basic training, allowing for infinite pistol ammo, an extra pistol attachment, and your pistol always fully loaded when you switch to it. While this class does work very well, it still felt like I could not get the score streaks without requisitions. Jumping into the gameplay, you can see how the Mac Hawk setup works. I tend to burst shot the PPSH in 4 or 5 round bursts. This will usually take out anything up to far medium range with one burst. Longer ranges can be difficult which is why I tend to swap my pistol out for an enemy rifle. But the machine pistol in its own right can be quite an effective clutch weapon if your clip runs dry in the PPSH. One of the most important things about hardcore mode is moving a bit slower. Trying to hold a defensive position over rushing to the kill. But the maps in World War II are still relatively small compared to World at War, so running and gunning is still both possible and fun. Watch out for friendly fire as well. It took me a couple games to stop shooting at teammates on accident. Luckily, I only actually team killed one. But with equipment and score streaks, this can become even more difficult. In this clip, you will see me, even though it's only a fighter jet, I still manage to kill a teammate who is near an enemy I was shooting at. Just a thing to watch out for, and also. Watch out for your own teammates ending your streak and killing you on accident. Recall it happens. Recruited. Every once in a while it happens. With the Hardcore Ghost, 
you want to try to stay inside the enemy spawn, where you have the most chance of them confusing you for one of their own teammates. I catch them off guard a couple times in this clip, but I still could not manage to even get a recon plane while running this setup. Molotovs may be the better bet here, since this class tends to spend more time in hostile territory and dying a lot more. I didn't really notice the difference with or without the silencer as far as damage and range, so I decided to leave it on the entire time, making it that much more difficult to identify you as an enemy when running the setup. When using the hardcore cheater, knowing when to run away is critical have a very niche range setup of long distance close quarters that leaves you wide open to anyone running a good mid-range rifle like the bar. So either trying to stay at sniping distance with the SVT or hiding inside the enemy spawn with the machine pistol is your best bet. In this clip the spawn flips on me and I end up getting a good chunk of their team tilted at the end. I will say though, the shifty perk is not quite as useful as I would have hoped, mainly because of how little ammo it takes to kill people in hardcore. So running this with requisitions may be more beneficial. Another thing to note when running this is how slow your movement speed is when aiming down sights with the SVT. Sometimes it's better to quickscope. That's gonna do it for this one. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to drop a like. Always much appreciated. New Call of Duty class setups drop every Monday, so be sure to subscribe to stay up to date. Follow me on Twitter at DPS United for more news and game-related content. And a new Call of Duty tips and tricks comes out this Thursday, so be sure to slam that notification bell so you know the minute new videos drop. As always, this is Dead Poodles, and I will talk to you all next time.